something that comes off the surface and they're coming yeah. back. So what gives the relief information then? Like, is it the, the angle of refraction off the edges of the rays? What is that? Yeah. That's this part of the sails right here. Here's a cross section of the thing that works. scattered electrons coming out of that volume, whereas the secondary just bounce off the surface, essentially. And that's so it's like light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's why the backscatter gives compositional information of actually being through the volume of the material, right? And uh, the x-rays, um, uh, with the spectrum, we saw that they differed in x-ray, in energy, sorry. And um, because what you're doing with the electron beam is you're knocking out inner shell electrons from around an atom. And as the outer shell electrons drop down to fill these vacancies, they give off x-rays. And depending on the element, the x-rays are different energy. So we can discriminate them based on uh, KEV. Uh, yeah, so these different peaks for the same elements, those are different elect uh, electrons from different shells. Yeah, basically. So is this different electrons? Uh, we're using for the electrons, we're using uh, different detectors. There's a, there's a pile of different detectors inside that chamber. The only it's most often is the backscatter because it gives us the compositional information and the X-ray detector. But there's also the secondary electron detector that we're using right now. And there's a capital luminescence detector. Maybe we should go to the. Uh, What's the year? Yeah. The year. Uh, is that oh, the front? Yeah. The year will be on the front of the back. Oh, yeah. But I think That's the on this side, on. too. Is it? Yeah, it's. Oh, wow. Well, I know what year it is. Oh, yeah. uh, okay. It might take a while. <laughs> do you want to drive? Sure. So the same yeah. electrons coming in in both cases are actually picking up. And the same electrons are scattered, you're just picking up. Oh, you are going down. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Oh, I said that. Yeah, one more hit down, down rather than. Okay. Yeah, if you want to find it. The X-ray detector is a. Uh, is a. Uh, uh, I want to go over. It used to be a lithium barium okay. silicon crystal, and it works on. Um, okay. yeah. on uh, flashes of light. I think that's the edge of it. did this before. Let's see the it's a simple simulating crystal. So when the X-rays uh, oh, yeah. crystal, it gives yeah. off flashes yeah. of light. No it's graphed into a yeah. multiplier that changes I, I those uh, flashes uh, of light into, yeah, yeah. into the light. Really? Um, really? It's right there. It's we used to have oh. a synthetic I thought it was crystal that sense for some reason. Of yeah, okay. Yeah, you, you know, know where you're going. It's enough to turn it into a scintillating crystal. But you had to keep it at liquid nitrogen temperature in order to keep the lithium atoms in it. Uh, New detector oh, is yeah. the silver thing in the back oh, there, oops. which doesn't require cooling. That's okay. Here. And uh, I'm not sure how this one works, but it'd be the same principle. The oops. Its refresh rate is really slow. Yeah. And that's what. Oops.
Okay. Here's a picture showing the, uh, here's the electron beam, here's the excited volume, uh, which is uh, it's very short. And, uh, okay. and, and here's the X-ray coming okay. off the excited uh, volume. Yeah. And if you want to get a little climate control, you can do that a little bit, because it, it will move one screen no matter, uh, at whatever magnification. So if you want it to move, no, it's just moving one screen. It's just like a compression screen. So we'll try the uh, we'll try the penny in a minute, and then um, last thing we'll do is uh, we'll let Jim put his own sample in and tell us what he's doing. Um, but if anybody has anything else metallic, then we'll fit in the chamber and then. <laughs> I was wondering if you have a hammer, and you could like bash the diamond with a hammer to see if you can get it the zinc or whatever's inside of it. Um, yeah, that's good. Uh, that's a good idea. I just kind of did like just scratch it because it's really hard. One more. One more. I don't know what it was, but some kind of chemical. Okay, and yes, there's nothing in scratch. One more. And it eats the inside. It eats the copper behind, but it eats the zinc. Yeah. And it just leaves us in the crust. Okay, um, there we go.